what is good everybody so master p came out with a particular video or i saw this on a on a tweet at first and somebody was saying how master p was complaining about how black people are making other races of people rich rather than making our own selves rich um he was using clubhouse for an example because master p came out with a particular platform where black people can talk to each other he used Clubhouse as an example of we always want to uh, give our money or our time and attention to other people that create platforms. But if a black person wants to make a platform such as Clubhouse, we'll make every excuse possible to not support it. This, uh, the master chat. Uh, it's, it's all about just being able to chat with our people. I know that we, you know, we going on Clubhouse. I keep telling people we go on Clubhouse. We make an, another one of them a billionaire. We just did it, just with Clubhouse. We need to create stuff like that to where we control the narrative and we able to put money back in our community and our culture. But you know, if one of us did that, we would be saying, nah, I don't think, I don't think that's gonna work. Why would you call it Clubhouse? It's not a club. We come up with all different type of excuses, right? Nobody cared. Everybody went on Clubhouse, blew this up. You know, this guy went to the bank, got whatever he want. Uh, he's going to take that company public. We're not thinking like that. The only way we're going to be successful, we're going to have to start taking companies public. That's the way you build wealth. I saw other people that were making responses to this. Uh, I saw other people that were making responses to this, um, such as Kev on stage. And I saw his video. And even though Kevin made some good points here and there overall, um, I do not think that the way that he was seeing it is the proper way to be looking at it in terms of what Master P was getting at. And if you look at all the platforms that we give our time and attention to from Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, um, even back in the day, MySpace, you know, um, there's other social platforms like WhatsApp and Kick. Um, and so on and so forth, we always give our time and attention, even nowadays, TikTok. You know, what Master P was talking about, they, they bring these social apps to the public, you know, invest millions and then bring it out to the public, and then it, it starts popping. And the thing with all of this that you have to understand is that with black people, we don't go out of our way to creating platforms for ourselves. And if we do, they always are uh, plagiarized in the light of Instagram or Twitter. I'm not going to put any names out there, but I have seen uh, some Instagrammers or some people who created apps for black people, but either one, it's not original, two, it's, it's not something that anybody wants to be on because it doesn't look that good, it looks stale, you know, and three, there's no diversity. You know, when most people create platforms, they create it for a particular category or type of people instead of just creating it for black people as a whole. You know, and, and when you have these three issues going on, you're, you're bound to fail. You know, it's just not going to work out. Um, and you can't have no bootlegged app. I'm not saying that you can't develop as time goes on, but you can't be out here and it looks like something that even an elementary school student wouldn't want to be on. You know, um, sometimes some of these apps that black people will make, it looks very basic. Um, sometimes the, 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 the app crashes or whatever the case is, you know, and these are the type of bugs and stuff. You got to get situated before you put a platform out there for black people to be um, situated with, you know. But I have to 100% agree with, with Master P here that we are the ones who always want to give our time and attention to different platforms before ourselves. However, I did make a video on why I don't support black owned platforms because of the three issues that I mentioned before. There's no diversity, it's stale, and uh, last but not least, when you're dealing with these type of platforms, the reason why they do not uh, go further than it needs to be is because they always want to replicate other different apps. They always want to replicate Twitter. They want to replicate Instagram. They want to replicate TikTok. But they don't want to create their own type of platform, their own type.
type of uh, way of creating content. And we have the creativity to do that. We have the creativity to create trends and challenges and all this other type of stuff and slang. But somehow we can't use that same creativity to create our own apps and our own platforms and things that would uh, righteously promote us, you know, in a positive light. But share your thoughts in the comments below. Uh, until next time, I'm Tyrone. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and share this video with other people. Um, did you agree with Master P? Did you not agree with Master P? Um, if you want to add on more to what he said, let me know in the comments below. Until next time, I'm Tyrone, and I am out. Thank you.